So the other day I was thinking to myself, holy shit, it has been nine years since we've seen the last GTA game. Now obviously we've seen it across multiple platforms, across multiple generations. I'm pretty sure that thing is on everything that you can think of. I think it's even on N64. I think it's on GameCube. I mean, <laughs> GTA 5 has been on everything. It is like that guy or girl from high school that just cannot stop sleeping around. That's what GTA 5 is. It has been on Xbox, PlayStation, Xbox One, the new Xbox, the last Xbox, the new PlayStation, PC. It's just been on everything. It has been sleeping around with every single console and everything, every single platform you can name. So... Yeah, I was thinking, I cannot believe it has been nine years since the actual base game of GTA V came out. So, 2013 is when it released initially, and now it is obviously 2022, and we still have not, I don't even think we've heard anything of the new GTA VI, which is kind of disappointing. I thought for sure we would have heard something going into this generation of new consoles back in 2020, and obviously that didn't come to fruition, so... I did some research and I looked up the time gap in between the last GTA releases. So the the time gap has never been this big. So GTA Vice City came out I think in 2002 and then San Andreas I mean there's only like a a year or two time gap in between those and then GTA 4 obviously came out in 2008 so that's only like a 4 or 5 year time gap in between. And then obviously between GTA 4 and GTA 5, there was only a five-year time gap from 2008 to 2013. So now we're sitting here at nine years. Nine freaking years since the last GTA came out. And uh, I mean, GTA is one of my favorite games of all time. We obviously got, we've gotten some different things here and there throughout the years. Obviously, we've gotten some updates with GTA Online, which have been pretty good. We've also gotten... Um, the, the remaster a few months back with San Andreas and, and some of the older GTA games, which is great, you know, those are classics and I like play I loved playing them again, but it's not the same. You know, I want a new one, I want a fresh story. I want I mean, if there's one thing about Rockstar, they are the best storytellers in the gaming industry. I don't care what anybody says. So I would love and, and that's another thing too, is like I always and I think the entire gaming community we always asked for like a, a story DLC for GTA 5 and we never got that. They don't give a shit what we think. So that was a huge disappointment um, that we've never... And it's not just D GTA either. I mean, Red Dead Redemption 2 is my favorite game of all time. I put over 100 hours into that game. And there's no DLC for the story. I mean, there's a bunch online and, and they do updates and all of that. Online's fun, but it's not the story. The story is what I play the Rockstar games for. I mean... I'm sure other people are different. Maybe you love the online. Online is great too, but I just love the story in those kinds of games. I think Rockstar tells stories like nobody else. I think their character development is incredible. And just, you know, the 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 world fully immerses you like no other game. You know, when you're playing GTA 5 or you're playing Red Dead Redemption, I literally feel like I'm in the 19 whatever Red Dead Redemption took place. I think 1920 or 30s. I feel like I'm in the 1930s. I feel like I'm a cowboy. I feel like I'm a John Marston, you know? So they are incredible with with that in that regard. And yeah, I don't know how much longer we're going to have to wait. I mean, I was thinking about it and we haven't even got an announcement. I mean, obviously there's rumors here and there, but let's just say, let's be hypothetical here, right? Let's say they announce the new GTA at the end of this year. So end of 2022, we get an announcement. That's just going to be an announcement. And then if we know Rockstar, we won't actually get the game probably for another two years. So at the earliest, I'm thinking we get GTA 6. Probably looking at somewhere around 2024. 2024, 2025. So that'll be, that'll be 12 years removed. Am I doing math correctly? I don't know. I failed that shit. But that'll be, yeah, that'll be 11 or 12 years since the last GTA came out in 2013. That is crazy amount of time. And then if you're looking forward to Red Dead Redemption 3, that'll probably be like seven or eight years from the last one. So Rockstar definitely doesn't make games as quick as they used to. Obviously, they take a lot more time. They, they make sure everything is correct. They don't really need to hurry. Obviously, Rockstar is one of the richest companies in the world. They don't have to do anything. They do whatever they want, when they want. And uh, I'm pretty sure we've come accustomed to that. So... Yeah, I, I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys think we will see 
when do you guys think we'll see the next GTA? Is it going to be 2045? Is it going to be 2025? I mean, I hope it's sooner rather than later, but I'm not getting my hopes up. Uh, also, where do you guys think it'll take place? Do you think it'll be... That, that's the thing. They have so many... The opportunities are endless with the next GTA because the, the way technology is going, the way graphics are looking, you know, depending on your PC or next-gen console, they they have the chance to make GTA 6 so incredible. I'm sure we'll see like VR updates and all of that crazy stuff. It's probably going to feel like a real-life game. And uh, yeah, I just can't wait for it. So... That just randomly popped into my head yesterday and I, I was thinking about how long we've waited and decided to make a video. So I would love to know what you guys think. Do you guys think we will see one soon? And where do you guys think it'll take place? Where are you hoping it takes place? And I'll see you later. Peace.